morning and welcome to our thought for the day. I'd like to read you just a verse from Genesis chapter 28 and it's verse 15. And what a wonderful verse this is to encourage you today. It says this, And behold, I am with thee, and will keep thee in all places whither thou goest, and will bring thee again into this land, for I will not leave thee until I have done that which I have spoken to thee of. The title I've given to my little thought this morning is simply this, The Security of the Saviour. And I'm so thrilled that I'm secured in Christ today. Are you? If not, then make sure you are before the day is out. You see, we get all concerned at different times about our family and our belongings, and we do all that we can to make sure that they're secure. Some people will have alarms fitted to their homes. Some of you extra rich people out there will have safes put in your homes with special combinations and all the rest of it. But you know, I knew a fellow not so long ago that had an alarm fitted to his house and it kept going off all the time at the wrong time. Nothing was wrong, but it kept going off. It was faulty, obviously. And so in the end, he was fed up and so he left it off. And when he left it off, his house was burgled. See, we can't trust in the security of this world but we can trust in the security of the Saviour. For we can depend upon the one who never fails and his name is Jesus. In verse 15, there is a great bunch of sweet peas that I'm sure will encourage you and me today and indeed for the rest of, the rest of our days, if only we commit them to our memory. It says this, and behold, I am with thee and I will keep thee in all places whither thou goest. Here we find his promise, his presence, his preservation, and his peace. And we all know the constant company of all that I've just mentioned, if we are found in his will. For we who know Jesus as Saviour, just pilgrims and strangers travelling through this life, not homeless and hungry, for our dwelling place is in the shadow of the Almighty God, and there is no greater place that we can dwell. And we feast upon the finest of the wheat, for our Heavenly Father knows all that we need and will make sure that we are looked after. The God of Abraham and Isaac and Jacob is our God, and his promise of protection stands true. I will keep thee. You see, we're not in any real danger. His word is our passport. His presence is our escort through life. When Jacob slept in the open field, did you notice that the angels of heaven watched over him? Isn't that tremendous? The, heavens, the angels of heaven watched over him. And we too must grasp the very truth of this verse today. Whether we be in the office or the shop or the factory or in any other place, the great I am is watching over you and watching over me. The Bible says his eye is on the sparrow. We used to sing a song, his eye is on the sparrow and he watches over you and he watches over me. He is with us. He will keep us. He will never leave us. And he will bring us through safely. Whatever may lay before us. What more could we ever desire? Let us remember there is security in the Saviour alone. Go into the day before you in his security, knowing all is well. God bless you.